Number four is especially relevant here. Reactionary debaters smuggle assumptions into hypotheticals, hoping you get distracted with the hypothetical rather than challenge the assumption. This is precisely what happened to Professor Flowers regarding the topic of genocide, and this distraction has forced her onto her back foot ever since. Here she is talking about it in her final video on the topic. So there are a lot of people who are saying that I'm genocidal, and I just want to clear up what I mean. What I mean to say is that there is no amount of violence that colonized people can enact towards their colonizers that will ever compare to what colonizers have done to them. That compares to the millions of kidnapped and enslaved people, to the thousands of years of history and way of life that has been wiped out, to the languages that have been lost, to the entire caste system that has been created, to the relocation and murder of millions, to the subjugation of entire nations, and to the subjugation and profit of stolen land. She is... Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> a bit, that's a, that's a clip that makes her, makes the geno takes the genocide claim away. I mean, it seems to me that it kind of goes in the opposite direction there. What the fuck? How That's can a... he be this stupid? <laughs> this is why I don't understand. He picked that clip. This is insane. Wait, I just want to play did like Vosh, the first. Did Vosh pick that clip for him, maybe? This is like a comedy. This is literally like if I was doing a comedy bit. Mm -hmm. This is what I would do, okay. Genocide and this distraction assumptions into high to her back foot ever since. Here she is talking about it in her final video on the topic. So there are here, like this is the comedy this bit. Is He's her like, position. He, yeah, here, it, here she is not advocating for genocide. Mm -hmm. A lot of people who are saying that I'm genocidal and I just want to clear up what I mean. What I mean to say is that there is no amount of violence that colonized people can enact <laughs> she, towards their colonizers. She's, that will let, she's basically saying that it's retribution. It's not genocide, but yes. it's still it's still killing everybody off. <laughs> she literally just said, "There's no like." The question is, do you support you know black people genociding white people? Right. If yes. the white people historically had oppressed them, mm -hmm. and she says, "Well, there's no amount of violence that could ever make up for it." Right. So basically, yes, she's basically saying right, but she's that's, not. She's not framing it as genocide. She's framing it as retribution. That's the most way you could ever say yes, race genocide is okay without explicitly saying race genocide. Is I okay. mean, it's it's pretty explicit. I don't know that you. <laughs> well, she's not saying the actually. She's not saying the words. Yes, it's okay for black people to go race genocide white people, but she's saying, well, stop complaining about it because you know the past right but this is how how the fuck what world is noah living in where he could he chose this clip <laughs> this makes her look so bad it looks horrible it does look horrible this is crt though crt makes this acceptable this, this is, is the most sussy wussy may... fucking clip of all time noah i i do you think do you think Ibram X. Kendi would make the same argument in this? No. Same? Yeah. He's, he's smart. He's smart he's enough too, to now it's say too this. far. Yeah, it's yeah. too far. He'll never. Even if he believed it, I don't know if he does. But even if he I'm sure this, he, he does believe it. it. I'm sure he does believe. I'm not gonna. It. I'm not gonna assume that much bad faith <laughs> <laughs> okay. from his love from him. But but he wouldn't. If he did, he wouldn't say it. Right. Say it. Is this racist? Is this racist? Right. Oh, Professor Flowers. Yes. If you're listening. Uh oh, I think you could do well in BreadTube being openly racist against white people. Let's listen. BreadTube will accept you being openly racist with open arms. Okay. That's not the problem, Professor mm -hmm. Flowers. The problem is, and I don't know why the fuck you think this is a good idea. She does this thing. You see that, you know, these zoom ins you're seeing on her oh, and no. on the pictures. That's not Noah. I thought that was Noah doing this for like comedic effect or something. Mm -hmm. That's Professor Flowers. She does this thing that's so alien. It's it's almost like she's an alien from outer space who watched human video essayist and then tried to do it and did it all wrong. She does this weird thing where she every time she cuts, mm -hmm. like she'll have like a 10 to 20 second speaking uh, portion in her before she cuts. Mm -hmm. And everything, she does the same thing. She starts with a zoom out and slowly zooms in on her face mm -hmm. and then cuts. And then it resets to the position it was 
and then slowly zooms in on her face, then mm-hmm. cuts and resets and slowly zooms in on her face. And it just repeats this every 20, 30 That's seconds. That's art, Sitch. I don't mind. It's insane. It's like I'm in a fucking fun house of mirrors. It's like I'm tripping on acid. It's, it's just, a drug. It's, it's, it's like effect. I'm watching a David Lynch film. Who, who the fuck would think this is a good idea? Who would watch this and not be, become fucking nauseous? I'm suspect and, that you can be openly racist on BreadTube and gain an audience. I think that's bad advice. You're so wrong. You're so wrong. <laughs> well, I don't. I just do. People really want to hear this. I mean, come of, on. Of course they do. No, they don't. Vosh's audience <laughs> doesn't want to hear this. Just, just, just watch the. Just watch the visual here, okay? This is no, the, all. I understand the visuals. I totally. No, I understand want the, the chat. Visuals. Okay. To notice this, okay? Right. How is her audience not motion sick for this video? A lot of people who are saying that I'm genocidal, and I just want to clear up what I mean. Zoom. What I mean to say Zoom. is that there is no amount Zoom. of violence that colonized people can enact towards their colonizers that will ever compare to what colonizers have done to them. That compares to the millions of kidnappings. Why is it always people, zooming to in? To thousands of years of history and way of life that has been wiped out. To the languages that have been lost. To the entire caste system that has been created. To the relocation and murder of millions. To the subjugation of entire nations. Okay, let's move on. We don't need to hear this again. <laughs> you just don't want to see all the horrible pictures of me well, laughing. I just, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just... I don't know. It's sad. It's sad. It is sad. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like the race. Why is she zooming in, Adam? Stop zooming in. Well, I I mean, that's neither here or there. I'm trying to. It's all. I I listen. As a former video essayist. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Oh, A current current video essayist. Oh, I'm so sorry. Self report. Self report. (laughs) What time are we at? (laughs) <laughs> three hours and 43 minutes self-report as a current video essayist on sabbatical <laughs> no you can't take that back you i do take notice that these back. things you cannot I do take that back things. no it's too late it's already been said <laughs> this is a mass slip moment right here this is a problem with live shows. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. To this clip. What does that mean? Dream. They're stolen land. She is right. Do I need to? <laughs> Wait. That's how it ends. Professor right Flowers final is right. video on the topic. How did it go back so far? I pushed it forward. Stop it. Stop it. Into the subjugation clip on his stream. There is no amount of violence that colonized people can enact towards their colonizers that will ever compare to what colonizers have done to them. That compares. What does that mean? What is, first of all, that's not what she meant because that's a totally different concept. Is that even like relevant? What does that have to do with what we're talking about? History and way of life that has been wiped out to the languages that have been lost. To the- Also, doesn't this kind of support my argument? This seems very strange to me because it feels like the implicit suggestion is that the violence that colonized people do is okay because it could never, it could never be enough. You know what I mean? So professor- That's literally what she said, yes. I hate I hate the I hate the picture. I hate to say mm-hmm. Wash is correct. Right, but Flower he's, said. he's figuring it out on the way. <laughs> yes. Definitely. Yes. He's slowly stumbling upon he's it. He's like, yes. what? I don't get it. I don't the, get this is what I've been advocating for this whole we're time. We're genociding me now? Super confused. He's like, I'm, I don't what happened? Wait, this colonizer stuff is about me? <laughs> <laughs> As these things cannot be compared and attempting to do so downplays this very real history of oppression again an objectively true statement and to this <laughs> objectively. that's not what she said and that doesn't even address the question right that's a total punt right yes and also connecting the the history of oppression to current day retribution is a huge topic in itself which right. Noah's not the person to talk to about that no, we but need like, actual smart people to engage in that debate it's pretty sus if somebody says hey mm-hmm. doesn't your ideology lead to genocide mm-hmm. and your answer is wow it's racist that you would say that yeah. i'm not even going to address that question right <laughs> Yes. Yeah. No. It's like, oh, okay. I mean, generally, most people can explain why they're not in favor of genocide. It's not that complicated. Yeah. Killing people is bad. Don't do it. <laughs> this Vosh responds. You claim to not want to do white genocide, yet you cite historical oppression, which could be used to justify white genocide. Huh. 
curious. Very curious indeed. Checkmate, Nazi. So, this is racist, right? Am I allowed to say that yet? I think. <laughs> you got it. Sitch. Sitch. He's basically saying that the anti CRT <laughs> position is racist. Okay. Yeah. And he's, he's asking good yeah. faith Gary for confirmation. Right. He's saying he's he's saying that if you are a white man mm -hmm. or a white woman and you talk to a person of color mm -hmm. and they have some thoughtful like some philosophy or some morals framework or something mm -hmm. that can lead that you as a white person think can lead them down the path to justifying racial genocide. Yeah. You shut the fuck up and you don't <laughs> ask that question. Because if you do, you're a big old racist. You're a big old racist, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. We gotta, all know. You got to get yourself some blue lights, though. Otherwise, it doesn't look cool when you say Listen, that. Listen, I am a learned scholar of history. Mm -hmm. And How as a super-duper non-racist, non-essentialist, mm -hmm. I know that, in, that throughout human history, only white people have ever enacted genocide mm -hmm. in all of human history. What about Only Rwanda? white people. Yeah. What about no, no, Rwanda no, no. though? That's no, no. That's that's racist that you bring that up. Why do you bring that up? I mean, Rwanda. Why would you bring that up? They literally call it the Rwanda genocide. There's why a would you? That this is there's so a fucking Wikipedia page about Cat, it. Can you see how racist? There's an Academy right Award-winning okay. movie about it. Okay, he's it's trying like, to gaslight us. Have you not seen with Hotel his Rwanda? I cannot believe I, I have to drop from this call. You're like oh one God. step away from being an all writer. I'm you very need uncomfortable. To, right you now. need to read the book. A long way gone about the civil war in sierra leone it's not obviously pretty, that was because of white people there's not even any white people in the <laughs> book okay <laughs> yeah i don't know it's <laughs> good faith gary better have something good to say here i think what you mean to say is that while this individual act may not be racist the way this flow of information has been set up has led to a racist outcome that outcome oh my god he takes the exact crt position it doesn't matter that his intent wasn't racist yeah the outcome is racist this is our good faith character here can't even fucking articulate <laughs> the position. This is fucking comedy gold, man. Oh, no. Being Professor Flowers discussing historical oppressions here is seen as a potential justification for retributive violence, which was never her point and not how these claims. What? Why did she? Wait, if that what? wasn't her fucking point, Noah. What? Why did she give that as an answer when asked the direct question? about retributive violence she said that no amount of violence could make up for the violence that has been perpetrated yes. by whites that was literally her fucking answer <laughs> <laughs> oh this is so what we're in i feel like i'm in the twilight zone <laughs> Sitch, I, right. what is happening should be right. viewed especially from anyone no but this would be, be like saying this would be like if 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 your neighbor went up to you and you're like, hey, neighbor, hey, Adam, neighbor, um, mm -hmm. you're not thinking about uh, killing me in my sleep, right? And then mm -hmm. Adam's response is, listen, neighbor, <laughs> yeah. you have constantly parked your car on my way. <laughs> no. You have constantly put things in my trash can. You have constantly let your dog poop on my <laughs> lawn and yes. have not cleaned it up. No amount of violence. <laughs> Could no make amount. up, could make up for the injustice you've put on my household, and then and then you walk away. <laughs> exactly, and they're like, "Oh, I think he's gonna fucking kill me." <laughs> I know they would think that. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> Why wouldn't they? Ah, oh, <laughs> you got this. Is I I the amount of blinders that no one needs to be wearing to, to spin this as as good. I mean, this is why this is fascinating to me. I mean, it's CRT on the brain. It really is. It's like it puts people in a, a just a different ideological headspace. Yep. On the left. Yeah, so it's racist. Okay. Thanks to... <laughs> so his answer is it's racist and good faith, Gary. Let's move 